Hi guys, Ronnie here and welcome to the workshop. If you follow my channel, then you probably already know that soon I'll be switching over all my bikes uh, to disc brakes. I already had uh, obviously disc brake cross bikes. Uh, this year I got uh, in the spring disc brake road bike and soon I'll be getting my disc brake time trial bike as well. And of course, obviously my mountain bike is disc brake as well. And using these brakes uh, is for me it's a bit of a revelation to be honest but it presents uh, itself with a couple of unique challenges some of them related to the true axles so I've already mentioned my cross bike if you remember my build uh, from last year then I enlisted the help of a small American company robot axle project to get rid of the nasty uh, clunky through axles with the levers uh, that come with the boon as stock and well with other track frames like the Madone, the Domane uh, and the Amonda as well uh, for some nice lightweight bolt on through axles. Now the problem with these is uh, no one really makes uh, through axles like this uh, in this weird thread pitch 175 that track uses on their bikes uh, except them so uh, basically whatever problem you have with your true axles uh, that might not be otherwise present uh, this company is out there to help you because they make as far as I know uh, the only axle like this for track bikes they make tons of others of these lightweight bolts and through axles uh, then they make uh, different axles for attaching uh, bike trailers uh, smart trainers indoor trainers uh, etc which would otherwise not be possible and now uh, recently they've contacted me about one more problem that they've sold and as far as I know this kind of product hasn't been available as of yet uh, for Traxel bikes and it's very common for in-brake bikes let me introduce you uh, the Robert Axel Project drive through which is essentially a dummy hub not for quick release but for true axles. It works exactly the same way you bolt it uh, in place of the rear wheel. Uh, it's the uh, same as the axles, nicely machined aluminum, black anodized with the knurly uh, end here to make it easier to grab uh, and install and there's a hard plastic roller uh, sliding on it so this way like with a regular dummy hub it enables you to shift your gears move through your drivetrain for cleaning or just uh, in my case uh, I use the 12 speed SRAM drivetrains these have pretty strong tension in the rear mech so it's not a very good idea to just to have uh, the chain just tensioned up against your normal through axle because it can wear it out I have to be careful when transporting the winch this way uh, and this bike too so this also solves that uh, and all kinds of uh, maintenance, washing, uh, transport issues that well you can solve by removing the wheel and putting in a dummy hub so it works the same way very popular tool for rim brakes so uh, just as handy uh, with disc brakes and through axles. Uh, the problem with through axles, uh, I've already touched on that subject, is the fact that different manufacturers use different thread pitches. Uh, the 12 mil diameter for now uh, is more or less standard, so that's not an issue. But yeah, the thread pitch uh, can be a bit of a problem. But also, they have been thinking about this. So, uh, if you like me that you have multiple bikes or uh, like I work on many many different bikes I need to have all kinds of uh, tracks in, in ready uh, just to ensure compatibility. So what they've done is they sell this product uh, also not just as you can see individual uh, products with different thread pitches but also this value meal 3 pack, yeah drive through. Uh, you can see the pun uh, there that includes all three common thread pitches so uh, as I said it's 175 on the track bikes 
Honestly, I don't know any other bike that uses this, at least not on the front. I think some maxwell axles use 175. Uh, some bikes use that. Then we have a 1.0 for, well, as far as I know, specialized bikes, which I'm working on quite a lot. This is for specialized. Uh, and this is a 1.5. That's pretty common too. So, yeah, these three options. You can get them individually if you have one bike or one brand of bikes, uh, or you can have all of them. The key to this value pack is that on the end of this little axle you have an o-ring which you can remove and then the nylon wheel slides off easily then you change it, put the o-ring on and it's back in the game as a different thread pitch so this is how it works, super simple, very useful and very nicely made Okay, so this was my latest workshop upgrade, a bit of a compatibility and practicality issue solved. If you want to know more about the products that I use in my training and racing and also maintenance, then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.